Hello, this is Olivia from the LiveChat Developer Program team. In this video, we will tackle the topic of something probably very important for a developer building apps for external marketplaces. And that topic is no other than app monetization. But let's start at the beginning. So far, you should know how to code an app, how to connect your app with the LiveChat API, and how to put your application inside the developer console. But do you know how to monetize your app? Yes, passive income is a real thing and you can earn it by simply building apps, putting them out on the marketplace and maintaining your code when necessary. Sadly, it's not just that simple, but I still say that's a fair deal. So how can you get your app monetized? Once your app is built, as you can see on my screen, simply go to your developer console and add the app monetization block to it. You'll need to configure a couple of things here and those are your application price, the billing cycle, the payment model, and the number of free trial days the app users will get. I know that seems like a bunch, but believe me, it's very easy when you get to it. The application price is, just as the name says, the price for your app the users will pay. However, that is not entirely all. The final price of the app also depends on how you decide to bill your customers, and that can be just a one-time payment for them or recurring monthly charges. Also, you need to decide on your type of payment. What are the available options? The first one is to charge your customers per organization, which means there's one price for the whole live chat license a customer has. The second option is similar to the live chat pricing model, and that's a charge per account. This means that each account on the customer's license will add up to the ad's final price, and they will pay for the number of agents they have on their account. All that information adds up to the total price for your application, and from that price, we take 20% commission. All the rest of the income is yours. We also take care of the whole customer's payment process on our site, so that's not something you'll need to get your head around. All your earnings will simply appear on your developer account. So if you are curious about your all-time or recent balance activity, head on to the revenue section. Here, you can find all the nitty gritties about your earnings, both over time and the recent activity. If you have more than one app, you will also see which of these are the best performing ones. What's more, you can also see all the activity happening inside all of your apps in the recent activity tab. Also, you can review the same information specifically by app selected from the list on the left. Alright, but how do I withdraw this all earned money from my developer account, you might ask. You also do that from the revenue section and it's a super easy process. There are two rules you need to remember though. First is that you can withdraw your earnings if there's at least $50 on your developer account. And the second rule, you can do it more often than once a month. So as soon as you cross that round $50 number and request a withdrawal with this button, we handle that on our end and transfer the money to your PayPal account. Remember that monetizing the application you built is a huge opportunity to grow your customer base and reach customers from all over the world. At the moment of recording this video, we've crossed the number of 33,000 customers who can become your customers too. And that will be all for me today. Let's catch up next time and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Bye!